Well, here we go again with a new project and we have a picture of what it should look like when it's done. It's going to be a Cherry, Pennsylvania, Chippendale drop front uh, desk. And this is a photograph of um, one that I picked out that I like. So we got uh, curved bracket feet down here and we got quarter columns here in the side and uh, it has three, uh, four drawers and um, the inside uh, we'll get to in a minute. So over here, we're going to back up. I made um, some drawings, uh, two views, the front and the side view, and um, it's going to be uh, 42 high by, I think it's 39 or 40 wide, 19 and a half deep. Um, I don't remember already. Anyway, it's marked marked on here the dimensions I haven't made my uh, story stick yet but um, what I did do is um, have to design an interior or gallery for it and there was a um, 2002 article in fine woodworking magazine by uh, Lonnie Bird on uh, there was a three-part episode there was three uh, issues in a row and making one and um, I really liked the uh, views that there were of the gallery uh, for this uh, particular it's a secretary but uh, it's essentially a desk below with the cabinet above but I really like this gallery that was in there. So that's what we're going to make. So I'm going to use that as a, uh, a pattern there, that article. And then um, I decided that I would uh, make a prototype. So I built this uh, prototype of the desk uh, that we're going to build to uh, take a look at some, some of the more complicated joinery. Uh, that there is so this is uh, obviously too narrow but the depth is the same as what we're going to be building which is 19 and a half inches so these sides are 19 and a half and um, the dovetails will not be uh, what what there are up here but what I was worried about is the slope here and making sure that we got that right now uh, Jeff Headley has a, had a, has a technique that he um, kind of promotes in this Winchester desk of his. And um, so you have to create a vertical here, a quarter inch by quarter inch, or inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter for the quarter columns, which go here. So the joint, making that join up here, there's a, uh, a 45 degree cut under there which is part of the writing surface and you can see the angle here so that slips in there and then this would be screwed and glued uh, on the side there o over here you'd, you'd have another vertical tenon in here so that the lopers would slide in and out there this is the quarter column that'll run in and out does, obviously doesn't have the flutes in it yet but here's the most complicated piece so what you have here is a capital and then the end of the missing inch and a quarter piece that runs along here so it's it's shaped to fit into that area there you can see it when the when it's open, it's it's part of the side here, and this slope is the the slope that's all along there. So 
uh, and it fits like right in there. So when I make this, what I'm going to do, because you have to, you'll have, there be some material here. So I'm going to make it full width, which is the 19 and a half inches, I think. And then I'm going to cut this piece off, save it, and um, likewise I'll do that on the other side and then add two more pieces because you end up gluing it together to make four parts to it uh, with craft paper in between all glued up. You then turn the uh, capital that's on there leaving this part square. I've got a couple more of them here. This is what they look like to start with. So this is what when they were glued up Well, not like that. There's half of them. So that's how, what it looked like, only there's two more missing. Here's the third one. So you can see what it looked like. So I'm going to get two of them that match the grain over here. So when I put it back and glue it on there, it'll look like, hopefully, it will look like it was just... Uh, the original piece and then um, it'll get cut down to size once we cut the slope in there and then everything should be hunky-dory so that's a bit complicated and I wanted to model it uh, first uh, before we started with big pieces. It's going to be made out of cherry. I've got the cherry already um, that I had from Erian. So uh, I'm going to make my story stick now and uh, I think we'll, we'll be ready to go.